Hey YouTube, Zero Fossil Fuel. Today is still Tuesday, May 17, 2011. Time right now is about 10 minutes to 9 in the evening, however. Uh, been getting a tremendous response to the short video that I put up this afternoon, and true to my word, I have begun the construction process of the, uh, the uh, Romeo UK Mueller generator motor design uh, replication. Um, spent quite, quite a bit of time this afternoon searching around for bobbins to wind my coils on. I have uh, some 12 millimeter diameter ferrite cores on order from the UK, oddly enough. Um, I've got all of my magnets on the way. I have Schottky diodes on the way. I've got uh, enough 3 8 inch plexiglass to build my rotor and one one side of the frame. I need to pick up a little bit more of the plexiglass. And uh, since I had such a hard time finding the bobbins, I decided I would probably go ahead and just try to make my own bobbins for the 12 millimeter ferrite cores. So I went to Home Depot this afternoon and I picked up a piece of, of this um, five inch length of tubing and it's called uh, let me see what it's called here. They call it shark bite. And I think this is uh, uh, supposed to be a, a flexible tubing of some sort. Uh, and it's designed to fit onto barbed fittings. So the type of material that it is, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to glue to it. I've got a couple of, couple of samples of glue. I've got some marine adhesive and I've got some PVC adhesive on here. Um, hopefully I can glue to this stuff so that the, uh, the ends of my spools uh, will stay in place. To make the spools, what I'm doing is um, taking this uh, multi-blade hole saw, putting it in the drill press, running it into a piece of wood, and I'm cutting, cutting little donuts out of some scrap material like this, ending up with the, uh, the rough donut with the quarter inch hole in the middle like this, and then with my stepped uni bit, take this in the drill press and take my, my little donuts and I end up turning out the finished product like this. The finished product has a 5 8 inch inside diameter hole which just happens to exactly match the outside diameter of the piece of pipe that I found at Home Depot. The inside diameter of the pipe that I found at Home Depot it was labeled as a half inch pipe. Guess what? It's just a little bit less than a half inch, i.e. exactly 12 millimeters. So if I can glue to the stuff, I should be able to make some very nice bobbins for the coils uh, for the, uh, the Mueller motor. And uh, I will be cutting my, cutting my rotor, roughing it out on the bandsaw with a, with a spindle. I'll show you that later. And then uh, once, once I have the, uh, once I have the, the circle cut out, and the eight holes scribed and cut out, I will take and put it into the drill press with, uh, with a, a bolt in the middle, and I'll actually use the drill press as a poor man's lathe to, um, to make the, uh, the outer rim perfectly, perfectly even and, and balanced. So we'll, uh, we'll go over that once we get to that point. That's all for now. I appreciate everybody watching. If you hadn't subscribed, I hope you will, uh, and I hope uh, we're motivating you to uh, at least follow along with what's going on because if this works it's going to be pretty exciting I'll tell you right now and uh, I hope uh, to inspire a couple of others of you to also start a replication of your own so get building and uh, let's make this world a better place zero fossil fuel everyone take care peace
there you have it. A completed bobbin assembly. Press fit for now. But uh, I do have one over here that is drying. It has Goop Marine adhesive on it. And it appears that that's going to hold. So, only 12 more of these to go.